Welcome back to Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer. I'm Ross Jennings, and this morning I'm with Martin Green, the head of ceremonies for London 2012 Olympic Games. Now, Martin, what's it like bringing a show to the fringe compared to organising something like the Olympic Games? I'm personally finding it more terrifying <laughs> because um, I'm much, much happier when I'm behind a desk and out of sight. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the guys from the underbelly asked me if I would come and do it, and in a moment of weakness, I said yes. Uh, so uh, it's, it's a completely different experience, but actually for me, strangely more, more scary than uh, putting a show in front of a billion people. <laughs> Dealing with the crowds and the Edinburgh, Edinburgh scene, that's a, that is that more difficult than the, than the international audience? Absolutely, because most of the international audience are behind a television screen, so you actually can't see them <laughs> and hear they're right up close to me. And also it's incredibly intimate as well, we're not dealing with mm. the stadium. But it's something different and it's nice to be asked and it's great to be able to tell that behind the scenes story because you know the question everybody has about those shows is how do you do that and uh, it was a really great opportunity to uh, answer that question <laughs> and now tell us about your show this year at the fringe so it's it's a talk it's not a, it's not a show it's a talk we've we put together an hour's talk where basically i take everyone on the journey that i had from five years before the shows because that's when i started work and an acre of empty desks up to a team of 2,000 people and, and four of the biggest shows you know that we've ever put on. Uh, and it just takes you through that journey and, and pulls out a few anecdotes. We show a few films and tell a few gags. And uh, it, it's, it's a really nice opportunity to let people uh, behind the door of what went on. And I suppose it's a phenomenal, like you said, it's a phenomenal story and a part to follow. And from drama, studying drama in Exeter, to, to producing the Olympic Games. Yeah. That's, it's, it's quite, you're, I'm sure you're everyone's idol now. <laughs> well, <laughs> at the fringe. <laughs> well, for, fortunately we got it right. I mean, I think, I, do, I wouldn't be here if everybody thought the show was terrible, I guess. Um, it's, it's an amazing journey. I mean, I, you know, you, you still look back and go, God, how did I get that gig, mm. you know? Um, I think the important thing is to make sure that although it was a year ago, it, it doesn't wholly exist in the past. You know, Scotland are holding the Commonwealth Games next year. They're going to do two great shows, I'm sure. And I think we learn a lot about how we treat artists, how we create work, how we come together as a, as a, as a country uh, to celebrate those kind of moments. And so I hope the talk doesn't just live in the past for people and actually talks a lot about what we can do in years to come. The legacy of the Olympics lives on. Yeah and of Martin Green. Now remind us of your venue and the time. Uh, I'm at 3.30 today, Monday, uh, at the top side, uh, underbelly, and tomorrow we're doing it at five o'clock. Well, thank you very much for speaking to us today, and the best of luck to you. And this is Ross Jennings from Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer.